Despite her incredible achievements in higher education and language studies, Min had started to accept her fate as a mere secretary. That is, until her boss was found dead one day. Chased by a strange creature, Min ran as fast as she could, eventually tripping on her own feet. As she gathered herself, she realized she was no longer in Arkham. She stood in amazement as she beheld a glorious city at the shores of Hali, with two sons watching on the night. Welcome to the Twisted Tentacle Inn. I'm your innkeeper, Vase Odin, and today we'll be talking about Min Tai Fang, the secretary. Born in Vietnam but raised in Korea, Min is a very well-educated woman. Min speaks Vietnamese, French, Korean, Japanese, and English, and has even obtained a college degree. Like Akachi, Min is a fish out of water in many ways, a college-educated woman in a time when that was a very rare thing, a foreigner in a land not used to seeing her people. But despite her achievements, the world she lives in had decided to gloss over that and she was forced into a secretary position. It was a man's world and there was nothing she could do about it. Her father's acquaintance had been a good boss up until recently where his behavior had become strange and erratic. He gave her a strange book to read, a play called The King in Yellow, and Min had trouble even getting through the first act. She felt uneasy and decided not to read the second act. Her boss insisted that she read the second act, but Min refused. She had suspected his death was somehow connected to the strange book he had given her, so she decided to investigate and found far more than she was ready for. Finding a dead body at the office of the man who had given her boss the book, Min realized something sinister was afoot. Chased by a strange creature shortly after, Min ran as fast as she could. She tripped on something as she got up. She noticed a poster advertising a performance of the same place she was reading. Shocked and disturbed, Min started to run again, only realizing she was no longer in Arkham. She was in the mythical city of Carcosa, what she thought was a fictional place and a subject of the play she now dreaded. In Arkham Horror the Card Game, Min Tai Fan is a Seeker with a 4 in both willpower and intellect, and a 2 in both combat and agility. Her special ability is after an investigator at her location commits a card to a skill test, she gives them an extra wild icon until the end of the test, and she can do this once for each investigator per round. Her Elder Sign effect is a plus 1, and she may choose a skill card committed to that skill test and return it to her the owner's hand, after the skill test ends. She is also very hardy with a 7 in both health and sanity. Her deck building requirements are seeker cards level 0 to 5, neutral cards level 0 to 5, and survivor cards level 0 to 2. Having a survivor card a splash of 0 to 2 is arguably one of the best secondary class splashes in the game as most survivor cards only go as high as level 2 or 3, giving you a wide range of options for deck building in the later levels. Min's signature card is Analytical Mind, a 3 cost asset with 2 wild icons. Min Tae Fan can commit 1 card to each skill test performed by an investigator at a different location. And after you commit exactly 1 card to a skill test, you can exhaust Analytical Mind and draw a card. This is actually really great in Min who tends to be a high skill card investigator. This means you always want to have cards in your hand so you can be committing them to skill tests. The best part about this card is that when you commit a card, you don't have to succeed in the skill test in order to draw the card using an analytical mind. Min's signature weakness is the King in Yellow Act 1. It's a zero cost asset. When it's revealed, you have to put it in your threat area and it cannot leave play except through the uh, reaction ability on the card. And while it's in play, you cannot commit one or two cards to a skill test. Basically, 
You have to commit three or more or none at all. To get rid of it, you have to commit enough cards totaling six matching skill icons for a test. And because of the card's other effect, you basically have to commit three cards and total six matching skill icons in order to get rid of it. This is widely considered one of the worst um, weaknesses in the game. It is pretty bad. Uh, Min usually being a skill card or a skill test committing investigator, uh, this completely disables most of her abilities and it's very hard to get rid of. You basically have to build your deck around it in case it comes up. And with most Min decks, uh, most Min builds uh, being builds where you draw a lot of cards, uh, it makes it more likely that you'll see this card far more than other investigators will see their signature weaknesses. Lola Hayes being one of the few exceptions. Min is a strong investigator, and this weakness is quite unfortunate because it really can cripple your game if it comes out at the wrong time. Be prepared for it when building for her. Because of her low combat and agility scores, Min tends to be a very, very weak combatant. Uh, luckily, she can use uh, um, survivor cards. So Fire Axe is a very popular choice for a weapon for her. I highly recommend you put one in her deck regardless of your build because at least it can help her get out of a tough situation in a pinch. I don't see too many builds using Fire Flight for Min, but it is one of my favorite survivor cards and I do see a place for it in her decks as well. I don't think that it is a waste to throw it in there. She definitely will take horror despite her high uh, willpower score and I think this can definitely benefit her in boosting her to lowest stats. And because of her low combat options, uh, I certainly recommend some kind of damage absorption, like a leather coat, um, because she will be attacked by enemies and uh, she's gonna have a hard time dealing with them. That means they're gonna be dealing some damage to her and she'll need to find ways to mitigate that a little bit. You can also use allies to do that and um, We'll go over allies in just a moment here as well. Now, one of the signature cards for pretty much every survivor uh, or anyone who can take survivor cards is the card Lucky. A phenomenal card, one of the best cards in the game. Even though it's an event and not a skill and has no pips, I highly recommend using it in any deck that can take it. So definitely a great card to have. And to help with some action economy, I also suggest cards like Shortcut or other cards that will help you uh, boost your action economy slightly. And because Min's abilities rely on skill tests so highly, uh, I highly recommend that you use a lot of skills in her deck. Um, most of the builds I've looked into use a ton of skills. Uh, on average, I would say about 14 skill cards, so almost half your deck being some kind of uh, skill cards or specialized skill cards. Um, I think that is a great idea for Min. And especially if you're playing multiplayer, um, having if you're pretty much going to use her as a support role in a multiplayer game having a ton of skill cards will help your the rest of your team out and um, make your team basically destroy any scenario every time i've played with min uh with someone using min i've never actually used her myself but every time i've played with someone using min uh, and they use her as a support role our team has a real easy time with most scenarios because she just helps everybody just annihilate. In most survivors, I recommend using Mylon Christopher as your main ally. But Min is a little bit different than most other survivors. Even in solo, I don't necessarily recommend Mylon Christopher. Since you're running so many skill cards, which all cause zero resources to play, you don't really need the added resources. And the intellect boost, although nice, um, you know, it, it, there's a, definitely other allies that can help. Plus, um, I would leverage allies to do some damage mitigation as well for her. I think Yaoto is an excellent choice for an ally for her. Not only does he give her both uh, health and sanity a boost of two, but uh, you can leverage skill cards that you've already committed to skill tests and reuse some of their icons, which is really nice to have. So Yaoto is definitely one that I would highly recommend. A lot of builds also uh, use Dr. William T. Nelson. Not only is he amazing for only a one-cost uh, ally, but he can also help mitigate uh, Min's uh, more frail um, combat prowess by 
basically manipulating the encounter deck and making sure that she avoids danger whenever she can. So Dr. William T. Melson is an excellent choice for a lot of min builds and I highly recommend him. And with the ability to use uh, survivor cards, Min actually at the higher levels has some great options for manipulating the encounter deck uh, to her favor and avoiding situations that could just outright cripple her. So using Dr. William T. Melson, as well as uh, Forewarned, which is an ex excellent uh, seeker card to avoid the um, treacheries from the encounter deck, and a Test of Will, which does a very similar thing to Forewarned. I think those two cards, getting two copies of each of those, is uh, a really good idea if you're going for that type of thing on a min deck. Now, events are also important in min. Uh, cunning distraction is a little pricey, especially if you're going for a, a you know low resource build, but you should have enough resources lying around since you're mostly using skill cards. So that's an excellent way for her to get out of a sticky situation. Also, hiding spot. Um, basically, what the community has recommended for min is to make her events package pretty much uh, ways to avoid creatures and you know to avoid getting into trouble fighting things so her events package I highly recommend that you add in cards like that barricade cards that will just help her um, not take damage from creatures and be able to get away when necessary and if you're building men uh, as a low resource uh, type build high skill cards you might as well throw in dark horse I mean give her a boost to all her stats if you're not going to need the resources, throw it in there. A lot of survivors use this card and even build around it because it is that good. So I highly recommend that you look into doing this if you're going to be building men. And that does it for our Min Typhon video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. Min is an excellent investigator, especially as a support investigator in group play. She can turn your, uh, your investigations around by herself and make everybody have an amazing time and just destroy a scenario. So hopefully you have some minty fun with Minty fun. And, um, well, I'm a fan. Thank you very much. This is Innkeeper Vase Odin. I'll talk to you all real soon. I'm the Allfather.